Hi guys, I'm Zach from Nerdworks Media. I know it's been a while. We've just continuously been going to car meets or car shows or things. First time in a while that we're actually going to be working on my car. Uh, so I'm going to start this video with some good and some bad news. Uh, the bad news, this bit on my car broke. However, the good news, I've, I've already fixed it. It's, uh, it, we literally just had to change that and then the plug fits back in. So it, it's fixed. Okay, sorry, it's a bit noisy outside. So I'm going to film inside. Uh, so, to the, the point of today's video though, is I have an exciting new mod, uh, an upgrade for the Miata. So a while ago, I was experiencing problems where my car would have random breaking up issues, especially once it had gotten hot, and we weren't really sure why. And to this day, I still have a really weird problem where I'll be driving, whether it be super hard in boost, or just casually driving on the highway, and then suddenly the car basically feels like somebody's turned off the turbo and I've gone back to like naturally aspirated power and I kind of just slowly cruise and then suddenly everything kicks back on. So it's a bit weird and I don't know why, but yeah. So my point is we were all a bit confused on why I was doing that. And again, to this day, I'm still not 100% sure why the it does it on the highway, but the sporadic breaking up uh, in the RPM was because the coils were basically overheating, the stock coils, because I've still got the stock coils in there. So, I now have these, which are from a Nissan X-Trail, and as you can see, I've also made a very lovely plate that is going to sit basically in between the two cam pieces of the valve cover, and then, ah, uh, let, me, let me show you. So, it's going to sit something like this. Um, obviously, the, my current coils are in the way, but that is going to have a slight bend up so that it, well, just looks nice and neat and tidy. Obviously, that will go away. And then, yeah, then the new coils will sit and obviously go through nice and neatly. They will attach to this, and then these will replace those. So, yeah. Also, like, how cool does my logo look at the at the top of this thing? I'm going to put another piece behind it and then spray it red, I think because that'll, that'll just look really cool. Anyway, my point being, so I've got the new coils now from a Nissan X-Trail. I think, I think I already said that, but yes, anyway. So I basically just need to paint this and make a couple other things. Shh, that's a secret product for later. Yeah, so basically today's video is gonna be, well, for me today, <laughs> I'm gonna be bending that up, painting it, making it look all pretty, and so on and so forth, and obviously getting the coils to be able to actually fit on that, and then part, Two for me, but it'll be in the same video for you guys, is I'm gonna go to Callum and we're gonna go get this all obviously set up. So first things first, as you can see, there is a slight space between the coil and actually where the uh, plate is. So I need to make a little spacer. As we can see, I've already actually lined up and uh, taken measurements and stuff of where that should all be. I just have to, well, cut it. Okay, so note one, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I really hate big loud things. <laughs> Secondly, unfortunately, it's kind of cut at skew, so I'm going to try and tidy it up, but this is, it's really cut at skew now, I actually look at it. Oh my gosh, can I show this on camera? Uh, please focus on that. Yeah, check out that. That boy is skew F, bro. See if I can fix it. If not, oh well. Father help! Okay, well, my dad helped me with the filing of the things, and now we got this boy, because I'm going to try trace an old thing of mine, because I said I wanted to see if I could get the, the knife, like a different color behind. Yeah, so I'm going to try to do that now. This video is just an absolute shit show of me not knowing what I'm doing, <laughs> at all what I'm saying. I guess, kind of thankfully, we've got Jared's old radiator shroud here, uh, that I couldn't cut straight, because <laughs> uh, I'm useless apparently and we've got to just get a template off that and cut that because why not so as we can see i have the little plate made up now i don't actually know where what i last told you guys but there we go it fits all nice and neat uh, it could have been a little bit short on the sides but yeah it is what it is anyway how do we actually get this to mount to this now well uh we're going to use river nuts i think i don't know uh, and what we're going to do is I just need to mark and drill some holes into this plate, which does make me a little bit nervous, but it's fine. I'm sure it will all be well. Okay, so my dad had the idea of putting the backing plate, whatever you want to call it, on at the same time. So when we drill it, we drill it just all at the same time and it, it's done. 
I guess now what's left is to bend this and paint it. Okay, next up we have to take this boy and now bend it. So I should explain. We just uh, cleaned up these holes a little bit. So now that the, the roof nuts will fit, uh, we did test fit it on all of them and together. It's going to look cool, I promise. I know, but I feel like I'll touch the firewall in the deck. Maybe not. Let's go mock it up on the car. Okay, so that's kind of what it's going to look. I can see the picture already. This is going to look really, really cool. Um, obviously, the coils are currently in my car, and I'm not bothered to take them out. So it's obviously sitting a lot higher, so it is hitting the firewall. We, my dad's not 100% sure. He thinks I should bend it a little bit more because when it's there, it might land up just touching the pipes. Sorry, I'm not even paying attention to what's happening on my camera. Anyway, um, I think it should be okay like this. I might give it a little bit more uh, of a bend. Yeah, I'll give it a little bit more of a bend. Um, and yeah, then we'll go from there. Adequately bent. Okay, so now the plan is I'm going to use some rattle can over there and I'm just going to spray it. And I think it should still come out nicely. I mean, I've done a lot of the pieces on my car in rattle can. So, yeah, let's go find out. Let's not forget to clean it off with some thinners first. Don't want any rubbish on it. So we can see I've done just a very speckled light coat over the top. I didn't actually mean for it to be as clumpy as it was uh, maybe I didn't rattle the rattle can enough but anyway it's fine this is the back side anyway um, I'm just gonna let this sit and just see how it kind of comes out because I was concerned especially for this piece this piece had paint on it already and I did take it off as much as I could with the thinners but I'm just concerned that it's uh, that the paint's gonna react funny to it and stuff because I have had that happen to me before and then it made my car look like rubbish so I'm gonna let this just dry quickly and then I will flip it over uh, and do the same for the other side and I'll, I'll basically just do this a couple times but you guys don't have to sit through this so I'll see you guys when it's all done okay so update time it is the a whole day later and I've done a couple of coats on everything. Everything looks really neat and stuff. Unfortunately, this has got... Uh, let me try to get in the, in the correct positioning for it. I don't know if you guys will be able... Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's got some weird bubbles and stuff. I don't really know. And the paint's been a bit orange peely. I don't, I don't know why. This side is not as bad. But unfortunately, the red side, which is what's going to be showing through there, has come out a bit miff. Uh, as well as it's kind of done the same thing here. I'm sure you guys can see it a little bit I'm gonna be honest. I'm not too stressed because Yeah, it was just a quick rattle can and it'll still look quite good. So I'm not that stressed whatsoever So yeah, uh, it's pretty much now time to well bolt that on and to pop rivet the Well, yeah pop rivet that on and then just press the things in so that we can actually tighten everything down and then it's done and that will be cool. Okay, next step, we are going to now put the rivets, rivets, rivets. in. Uh, but just a quick sneak peek of how the red is going to look with the, uh, the black cover there. I think that looks super duper cool. But yes, I will catch you guys up because this is kind of, kind of, kind of difficult to, to record all at the same time. Oh, I'm desperately hoping this isn't screwing up the paint. Not possible. Nice! Okay, uh, now we just have to put those on. So yeah. But there we go. They all came out super nice as well. They're nice and flared at the bottom. This is going to look super duper dope. I really want to see it on my car now. Oh my gosh. Okay, well from where we last left off, I've done a little bit of assembly. You can see the coils are actually in. And I'm going to put a picture on now of me actually test fitting it in my car that's over there. But I'm not bothered to redo it because it took a lot of effort. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's come out really nice. There are some small issues which I'm going to have to touch up. If I come, let me try to put this on a different color background. If I put this over here, you can see that there's still a small gap between like the, the, the rubber 
and the, the the bracket. So I might have to adjust my little spaces here so that they're a little bit lower. So, well, they actually sit properly. Yeah, this one's really bad. Um, so is that one. That one's also pretty bad. Yeah, you can see nicely on that one. Anyway, moving on. Otherwise, that all works pretty well. I did test these, uh, kind of. Unfortunately, I couldn't really put them in, test them, and like screw it in to see if it actually all holds, because uh, I was dumb and, well, the coils were already in when I was trying to do that, and then I couldn't position. Anyway, moving on. You guys will see that in the actual install video when we go to Callum to install this. Unfortunately, I'm going next week, and this video has to be out this week. So, with that all being said, uh, time to end the episode. Yes, I'm sorry we didn't actually get to install anything or, you know, see how they work or wire them up or anything in this episode. That's that's just life. That's how it happens sometimes, unfortunately. But I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and maybe leave a comment on how cool this looks. Yes. Anyway, until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Cheers.